If you're a fan of streetwear, you probably know this brand already. ALD has been in the game for at least seven years. However, I would say it's been mainstream for at least three years. I first knew about the brand in 2017 because of a store in Ottawa called Normal and their design language and color palettes is different then than it is now. So what are your opinions about ALD? Do you think it's overrated? Do you like it? Leave that in the comment section down below and as always, please like and subscribe. Now I must say that one of my favorite designers right now is Teddy Santis who is the founder of the brand and creative director of New Balance. He has a bag that was thrown at him from LVMH for some backing for ALD which is needed for him to go further. One thing about the brand that did change over the years is that the pieces used to be louder. However, the 90s aesthetic remained the same. The first anime piece that I ever copped in my life was a pullover fleece and it was a quarter zip. And the quality was there. Trust me, it was there. And the quality was on point, y'all. That's why I always mess with ALD. <laughs> oh, so check this out. I noticed around 2019 to 2020 that people stopped really talking about Supreme and seeing that it was played out, it started to flock to brands like ALD and J -J 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 -Down, <laughs> Kith and all those types of elevated streetwear brands. Now, here's the crazy thing to me. I thought Supreme was on the same level as them. Now, ALD is selling out and certain items are popular, like their baseball cap, especially their Yankees one, and some of their coats are pretty fire as well in my humble opinion. But mainly what pushed them into mainstream in my humble opinion is that they collaborated with New Balance. Yo, so the ALD, the ALD 550 has been one of the popular shoes within the last couple of years, specifically 2020 during the panoramic. I had the green pair and it was a cool, clean shoe, but I personally prefer the 650. They both are pretty comfortable and affordable if you can get it for retail. They have other colorways or other collaborations with New Balance that are cooler. However, I would say the 550 is their most iconic collab. So ALD has changed their street style by bringing 90s vibes back and making them new again. I like their collaboration with Clarks and other brands alike. Their style is pretty much like Seinfeld meets East Coast 90s hip hop. Put those two together and you get ALD, which is my steez, I ain't going front. Some people say that ALD and their peers are pretty much brands for hypebeats that grew up. I would say that's half right because hypebeats, like anything that's hype, hence the name hypebeats, but they are not fully catering to them. But at the same time, they will start catering to them because they want to grow their audience, which does make sense financially. Yo, so here's the funny thing about ALD and its influence. Now, it's quite evident in fashion, as you can see, with brands like Amber Combi and Fitch, a brand made for frat boys and mean girls in the 2000s, copied their whole flow and basically became a cheaper alternative. I mean, fair play to them, fam. Go ahead, make your money, but yo, I never thought I would see this day happen. All right, make it hot. Don't stop. Make it hot. AOD is one of the best NY brands out right now. And they definitely left their mark on the industry. Now, how long will this run last? I think at the pace that they are going to do. And if they continue to be consistent, dropping gems here and there and everywhere, it will be one of the best brands that we've ever seen in our lifetime. It will be put in the same circle as a J. Crew or a Tommy Hilfiger, which is a good thing, especially for a high street brand. ALD is crazy dope, and I can't wait to see what they have in store for us. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode, this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. And with that said, this has been your boy Darius D, and I'm signing off once again. Y'all stay suave, live long, and prosper.